Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am sure that by now you all heard about the armor insurance thing in 3.19 and knew about how to duplicate them so you can literally have unlimited supply of armor pieces. So in this video, I am not going to show you how to duplicate them, but I will show you where is the best place to do your armor duplication fast and furiously. And also I will show you my private armor collections. So let's get to it. So to do this armor duplication work, there is no place better than Lorville. And of course, Microtech is second to the best. And as you can see, I have done some work earlier today. So these are the abandoned mules. So to do this work on Lorville, you have to get to one of those city gates. You either can fly a ship or you can take the metro. So there are total six gates around Lorville. So find one of those city gates and find one of those fleet manager ASOP terminal and well, call your mule. Of course. System you would have to set up your mule for the armor that you want to duplicate. All right, so let's call this mule. Garage 3, so... Let's go. The reason is because from the ASOP terminal to your ship is a very, very short distance. And once you have your ship spawned, you can just grab these armor by double tap F and then put them to your local inventory. You don't have to fly to any of the moons for the mining pads. You have to transfer those armors. So if your home location is on Lorville, then it's perfect. Grab all the armors and then you would have to go into your mule and turn it on and drive it away from this pad. If you have only one mule, after you drive it away, you can uh, reclaim it. Alright, so let's drive this mule away from the pads. As you can see, these are the mule graveyards that I have created. So we're going to abandon this one here. So yep, yeah, I have been busy. Thank you. I have been duplicating my favorite armors, which I will show you my favorite armor sets. So this is why it is really fast. If you are on the moon... You have to go through those two airlock doors. So on Lorville, there's no door blocking you. So you can duplicate really fast. But I do recommend that you have two mules at least. It's really cheap to buy the mules Welcome in game. So it's not a big problem. Because, let's check. To claim a mule, it takes three minutes. If you expedite it, it will still take one minute to deliver. So what are you going to do during that minute? I don't know. But if you have another mule, you can just simply call the other mule and then do that duplication process while the other mule is on cooling down. And then from the ASOP to your mule is a very short distance. So it's really fast. By the way, you can only put armor pieces on the mule. If I try to grab a undersuit and put on the mule, it won't give me the option. So you cannot duplicate undersuit at all. Which means if you want to duplicate the Zeus exploration suit or the Pembroke ex exploration suit or the cool alien suit, you cannot because they are under the undersuit category. And then you cannot duplicate the undersuits. Because you cannot put them on your mule. But you can put every single other armor pieces on your mule. Simply by click place. There we go. And here is your armor piece. And you have to do all those, uh, you know, switching components and save the ship thing. Which will save the loadout. Okay. So, very fast. Within five minutes, we duplicated two sets. And then you just simply drive this mule away from the pad to your mule graveyard. And that's it. And then walk back to the ASOP terminal to call your other mule that you want to duplicate your armor with. So no doors blocking you. And the ASOP, the distance between ASOP 
to the vehicle pad is really, really short. So this way you can duplicate your armor pieces fast and furiously. All right, now I am going to show you my private armor collection. I have four mules here. So each mule carries one or two sets of my favorite armors. So remember, you do have to wear an undersuit. If you are going on a mission that you carry a mule with you, but you do need at least one undersuit because there's no undersuit. You cannot put any undersuit on the mule. So once you put all your armor pieces on the mule, you simply store this mule. You either get your mule impounded if you cannot call the ATC. And then you go to your vehicle loadout manager. You find your drink mule and then you unequip a component. Click save and then re-equip this component. Click save. That's it. Then all your armor pieces are saved. You can even see it on the preview for your ship. You can see these are your armors that I saved previously. Well, actually, I just showed you how to duplicate armor again. All right, here is my first two sets of my favorite armor collection. These are light armors. Okay, so there we go. This is my first armor piece. Of course, uh, I do need a helmet because on this mule, I put two sets of my armor pieces, but I did not put a helmet on it. And this one is my favorite helmet. Also, the problem is you cannot put a backpack on the mule. Also, another problem, you can see for the core armor, you can actually open the storage. And I tried to put some uh, ammo or even a pistol into this uh, core armor compartment storage. And then I reclaimed the mule. Guess what? All Everything is gone. So you cannot store anything inside the armor, the core armor piece or your leg piece. So those two has storage. I've tried it. It'd be really nice if that worked. So you can actually carry waters and food and uh, med pens and pistols and ammo into those armor, core armor or leg pieces, but negative, you cannot. Once you reclaim them, everything is gone. But if you just want to put something in it and then store the ship, next time you call the ship, they are there. But if you reclaim them, everything inside your core armor pieces and leg pieces, they will be gone. So I've tested that as well. All right, so this is my first set of my favorite armor. And on this side, I have the white one of my favorite armor. So this is the Archangel, but this is the white. All right, so for the second mule, I have my favorite heavy armor set. And uh, as you can see, these are the core red alert. And on this side of the mule, I have two sets of helmets. I'm going to equip this one. And you can see, this is my favorite heavy armor set. It looks really cool. So I'm going to store this. And then my second favorite helmet for this set is this one. This looks like a robot. I really love it. Okay, and my second set of uh, core armor is this one. Equip. I have multiple options for this mule with the red alert armor. I have two sets of uh, core armor and two sets of helmet. The third mule, I might have to drive this mule out. So these are my alien armor sets on the third mule. And I have different helmets. So I have three sets of helmet options here. The first one, this is my favorite one. There we go. So this is my favorite alien set. All right, my second helmet, it doesn't really match. <laughs> I might have to change the loadout. Third helmet, this, oh, of course, this is the uh, whole set, original helmet set. But the first helmet is my favorite. And my last mule, which is my favorite. This is my number one favorite set for this was uh, this Calva helmet and the Inquisitor Core Black Steel. Actually, I have only one helmet for this set, but I do have two different core armor set because this one is a medium armor. If I want to move a little faster, I will equip a light core armor like this and I have a cape 
So this is a really, really cool look. Of course, my second favorite helmet I don't have the room to put is the Mandalorian look. But uh, I do put the, the last spot for a heavier armor set. So if I want to get more protection or carry more ammo, especially when I want to use real guns and to carry a lot of ammo on my belt. So I put this core armor set for this. So on this mule, I have uh, three different core armor set, one helmet selection. So this is so far my favorite sets. So these are my four mules that uh, I stored for my private armor collection. What's behind that door is my private weapon collection. That will be the topic for the next video. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one and have fun duplicating your favorite armor. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.